Okay, we have, um, are you, you're on camera, hon. Stop it. Sorry. Uh, we're still going over, you know, uh, little bits and pieces. Uh, we have the uh, center here. The guy is going to come here tomorrow and do that. And that is the last thing inside, except for some minor things. Uh, like this door here is uh, bent. You can see it's bent at the bottom. It's warped. And when you close the front door, the back door pops open, unless you've got the bolt uh, thrown. So, uh, this is, you know, the, the moving in here is coming to an end. Uh, I'm 99% sure on the 28th I'll be closing on my home. And uh, we'll be paying this off as soon as we get that check. And uh, Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Amen. And uh, a nice little surprise. I... Just added up what I have paid on uh, the land across the street from my house, and I thought I owed 18000 but I do not. And the man buying my house wants that land, and I said, just give me what I'm into it for, which I thought was 18000 That's the figure I gave him, but it turns out I only owe 16750 So I'm going to make uh, 1250 on it, and... The reason I'm telling you this, because I'm going to use that money to buy, I know this sounds crazy, but I can sell this stove. I don't like, I like a glass top, and why do I need a glass top, hon? Because you spill everything you pick up. Everything I pick up or touch, I knock over, spill, or splatter. I'm a very messy, spiller kind of guy. As you can see, we have towels strategically placed around yes. there because... We have a spiller. Yeah, so, uh, you know, if I use this, the first time I use it, I'm going to get crap everywhere. So I'm not going to use this. And the glass top cleans up. Plus, this is not self-cleaning. And my wife insists on self-cleaning. And we're All just right. going over our hindsight being 2020 for uh, how much more? Three grand, 3,500? Yeah, we could have yeah. upgraded to a glass top self-cleaning. Uh, a better uh, refrigerator and uh, vinyl throughout the entire house. We have dogs, so yeah, I carpet. Yeah, got a built-in microwave. Yeah, a built-in microwave. But that wouldn't yeah. work because you would have spilled all. Plus, all you know, I'm tall, and uh, the microwave, you know, would have been chest high. I'd have had to bend over and look under it. To... And you would have spilled stuff everywhere. Right. So. Look at all the dust up here. Yeah, somebody needs to clean. Yeah, that, fire I the mayor. That, that might be, since the stove area yeah. is you, your department. My department? You okay. You need to get on that. Okay, well, that's not, I don't have a problem with dust, so. I haven't cleaned yet <laughs> because we're still moving in and going to the nursing home. Yeah. And I had go to the hospital and then the nursing oh, home. Show them how the top of that coffee pot opens. We figured it out. Oh, this one. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. You, you pull it up from the back above the handle. I still can't do it because my hands are up. There, you, there we go. See? And the reason is it's got these little hooks on the front that hook under the oh, front edge of that. See? I didn't even know that. Yeah. Boy, I feel the heat coming off of that. Yeah, that's my... Oh, we used our dishwasher again. I washed my yeah. new dishes. So but, we figured out how the dishwasher works. Uh, we figured out how to get into the coffee pot. This is pot. the most extravagant thing I've ever bought in my entire life. Really? It's this fancy coffee Fancy pot. schmancy coffee. And man, you just turn this on and pop your little pot in there and push the button. And, and it's like walk magic. away. Yeah, it's, you got a and cup then of coffee. You can even keep the coffee hot because uh, it's got a little dial here where right, right? and that keeps yeah this? it says uh, hot you know hot. i don't know what a carafe is but well, uh it's the, <laughs> it's the coffee pot. you can make a full pot of coffee plus you can use oh this i thought that was some french word or something it says clean and add water anyway you just we're doing i guess we're doing a review on the squeezing art but i've seen them on tv oh look you didn't even take your pot out well that's how i roll okay waiting on the <laughs> maid to show up and you just pop it in there and... All right. Dogs are snug as a bug. They're pouting. One dog, two dog, three pouting. dog. Two pouting dogs. And uh, garbage. 
Everywhere. Everywhere. And uh, I'm going to include a, a dog. my latest government debacle. And uh, I'm afraid I may have dropped an F-bomb in that, in that <laughs> clip. You would not believe how mad I, I was. And I guess I should go ahead and tell you the rest of the, the mailbox story. I, I'm still... I am at a complete loss for words. The mailbox story. The mailboxes were inside our fenced property here only because the lady who originally lived in the house next door on the other side of that RV shed was disabled and couldn't walk uh, very far to get her mail. So they let her move her mailbox inside our, I'm gonna use the word compound for lack of a, a better description, but there's no razor wire. So uh, Bev, who used to live on this property we are at on now, we now own, bought the house next door when those uh, people moved out. And uh, when we moved in, we have three dogs and we want to keep our gate closed up there so to let our dogs out. And we don't want somebody driving down a, our driveway running over our dogs. So I spoke to the mailman and he didn't want us moving our mailboxes. I have no idea why. What he would do is come deliver mail and then back up right here where my truck is. And I said, well, you can't back up there anymore because that's my driveway and uh, that's where I'm going to be barking. So he said, well, uh, you'll have to ask the postmaster. I asked the postmaster. She said, I have no problem uh, as long as there's room for him to turn around, which there was. And the mailman, she told me to get with the mailman and find out where to put the box. Where? So I asked him, I said, what would be the most convenient place for you to uh, you know, put my mail in, I'll move the boxes there. And he showed me where, and I put the boxes exactly where he said to put them. And for the next week, he would pull up, deliver our mail, uh, go past my box, hook a left, back up, and then turn around and leave. And then the next week I noticed he started making this huge circle. He would pull up to our boxes and then make this huge circle up into the next door neighbor's yard and out his uh, secondary driveway. And I'm thinking, oh, that ain't gonna last long. You're gonna start putting ruts in that guy's front yard and, and he's got a, a kid and a little dog and why on earth would you think that's okay to do? But I'm not gonna say nothing because uh, as you all know, I have experienced my own problems with uh, the post office. So anyway, uh, he uh, goes to the post office and asks them to please stop having the guy turn around in his front yard, which I would. I mean, if it was my front yard, I'd go up there and say the same thing. What on earth are you turning around in my front yard for? Please stop doing that. Yeah, with all the rain we've had, the ruts are gigantic. So they didn't tell us. They just stopped delivering mail. They didn't tell us. Uh... For four days, we got no mail. So the fifth day, I go to the post office, and I see the mailman. And I say to the guy, uh, are you not going to deliver mail to us anymore? What's the problem? And he goes, yeah, she won't, uh, she won't let us back up. Uh, I put those boxes right back where they were for 30 years. Nobody had a problem with those boxes for 30 years. Now... <laughs> Now you can't deliver mail to my house because you have to do what has been done for the last 30 years, which is back up. Well, he had to back up anyway. He backed up in this driveway. Yeah, he right said, here. well, I, I mentioned to him, I said, well, you backed up in my driveway here every day for the last five years. He goes, well, that was an authorized back. That was his exact words. So the postmaster comes down here and she pulls up to my box. And she goes past it, backs up, and leaves. And that was the last we ever saw of the mailman down here. So now I have to go to the post office to pick up my mail because uh, it is not an authorized back. And uh, I, I'm... 
Jeez. I've got so much other Recut stuff going on right now. Yeah, I, my wife is saying I even cut a huge tree down to give out. him even more room to turn around. And here's the kicker. The UPS truck turns around just fine. FedEx truck turns around just fine. The big ambulance, the fire, the fire truck, the ambulance, everybody turned around just fine down here. But the postman, the post office, has an issue with turning around down here. I do not know why, but I've got so many other, so many other things going on right now. The other day I met, showed you the water heater where the guy came and fixed my water heater and left all the covers off and the wires bare and all the parts that could zap you with 220, it left wide open. Now, uh, he's doing that. I mean, I didn't know the wires were well, yeah, I mean, the the, therm the elements are, you know, got 220 going to them. Yeah. They're, you know, you touch them, you're, <laughs> you're going to know it. Yeah, wow. Yeah, so anyway, uh, I, that's 11, wow, 11 minutes of me talking. I'm done. I don't know what else to say, but uh, I'm not going to be mad. I'm just going to keep on plugging away and uh, solve each problem as it uh, shows up. And I'm just happy happy that uh, the good lord has helped us sell our house without a realtor and quickly and uh, soon this house will be paid off i will have a new oven with the money i didn't know i had overpaid on the land and my wife is gonna get uh, one of them fancy schmancy washers and dryers that ding and beep and do all kinds of stuff and uh they'll be on a pedestal where she won't have to bend over to you know put the laundry in front loader that's what they call them a front loader High efficiency. So we're... Uh, I don't know. It may... Uh, as big as it is. Yeah, it may tip the trailer over. Yeah, They're pretty say, heavy. It might vibrate. Right and I was thinking about that when I bring my guns and all my ammo over here. Well, I got my guns, but I got to bring my two safes full of ammo. Uh, I'm going to have to spread that ammo out around the house or else it's going to tip this trailer right over. Well, it'll send us down the hill. Make it do a wheelie. <laughs> all right. Later, y'all. Here's a funny story. This is uh, just exactly how government works. Post office, motor vehicle department, every branch of government works just like this. Here's the, here's the story. Uh, down this, my driveway, past my house over there, there's another house that is no longer occupied and they shut the water off to it. Well, with the water goes a trash can and trash pickup. So they were supposed to pick up their trash can. So we left the trash can outside this gate. So instead of coming and picking up the trash can they were supposed to, they go to my neighbor's house here and they go up behind his house and take his brand new trash can. He goes and gets it back. A week later, you know, actually it was this morning, they come to my house and pick my brand new trash can up. So I go to the town hall and I say, uh, the people that were supposed to pick up the trash can for the neighbors that no longer live there, they left that trash can and they came to my house and picked my trash can up. And she said, well, I don't know what to tell you. They've been out there twice now. Like suddenly it's my problem that they've picked up the wrong trash can. And that's what she's doing. She's making it my problem. She says, if you go bring me that trash can, I'll give you your trash can back. I said, so I have to go get somebody else's trash can in order to get the one back that they took by mistake? Are you kidding me? And she smiled like, no, I'm not kidding you. That's the way we do things working for the government. So here's their freaking trash can. Got garbage in it. I'm gonna put their trash and our trash cans take their freaking garbage can back so I can get mine. It has no wheels or I just use this. And I gotta drag it a long way to bring the garbage out here to get the garbage picked up. Fuck, I tell you what, the government, I'm, I, I, I'm just at a complete loss for words. Every branch of government works just like this.